Okay. And welcome to the Rondo. Why We're you back. You're smiling too much already. Ah, oh, I'm smiling, man. It's been a very good game week. I can't lie. It's been a very good game week, man. I, honestly, if I wrote it myself, the only thing is City dropping points. Like, no. it looked like that was going to be the case as well. Mm. But, you know, Liverpool three points. Slapped up the rent, boys. Arsenal whoa, whoa, successful. Whoa, whoa, hey, watch. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Saliba out next week. Oh, nah. It's, it's good. And Ten Hag is in. He won. So, yeah. Anyway, without further ado, I think that quite, you know, I, I think I went, I went over quite a few of the stories from this week. But, you know, it's your boy here hosting, as always. I'm joined by Azumi, Manchester United's finest, Louis Liverpool. And the loser today. Relax. <laughs> that's that's, that's not it. Marcus, that. you know, up the blues. Come on, come on. And my boy, Jamie, another loser. The star, the star of the show right now, really. I feel like I'm carrying this pod this season. <laughs> this guy is really gone. Like, <laughs> this guy is like, gone. The views are going to be back up this week. I'm happy to see you guys all watching again. You know what I'm saying? We're <laughs> so back. Let's get into it, If man. you say so, if you say you know so. I mean? So, obviously, the first game that we're going to start off with is Liverpool versus Chelsea. Mm -hmm. The big game of the weekend. It was the 4.30. Um, all good there? Yeah. Oh, I said that. It was the 4.30. Uh, Liverpool 2, Chelsea 1. Liverpool still at the top of the table. Mm. The flat track bully agenda is now dead. We beat in a top half team. A good side, I'm not going to lie. They came out and they played uh, at Anfield. So I think, firstly, before we go into how wonderful my team is, I think we should give Chelsea some credit, you know? And let's talk a bit about you. So, would you, are you proud of the performance today? No. Oh, okay. Okay. <sighs> But hold on, hold on. You need to remember where I'm coming from. I'm coming. From, I'm, a, I'm a Chelsea fan. Like mm. our last twenty years, I've been we're always challenged. Like every, every other season, we're challenged for something—a title or something. We're used to competing. Mm. I don't. I feel like we gave our, our best effort this game. I don't feel like we competed with Liverpool. I feel like Liverpool was still a step above us, and I can see that throughout the game. So I don't think I'm happy with the result or happy with the. Performance. Okay, fair enough. So, a Chelsea fan that kind of sticks to high standards. Yeah. Jalen, I saw you tucked there when he said that he wasn't proud of the performance. What's your thoughts then? I think it depends, doesn't it? Like, I feel like you lot have been used to being mid-table last few seasons. I feel like I'll that's the first step forward, I will never get used to that. I will never get used to that. That looked like a step forward. I nope. think you lot played all right, personally. You're saying that because you, you're not seeing Chelsea the way I see Chelsea. That's why you're saying that. But what do you see them as? We still see, see us as Yeah, like, but what do you see yourselves as, as of right now? What do you see yourselves as? I'm, I still haven't looked past the past, like the Bromwich era. I'm still in that era. I still okay. expect us to be competing for... Top trophies. Yeah, but based on today's performance, you see yourselves as like, it looked like a top four team. Do you get what I'm trying to say? We, yeah, we are a top four yeah, team. So yeah. But I'm, I'm not going to be happy about it. You're going to be happy about that. You want to okay, be challenging them. You want to be competing. Exactly. So it's like, it's a, it's a step in the right direction, but we need to get back to the... Okay. Yeah, no, I past. think that's fair. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I thought you played played well. You know, mm -hmm. uh, away at Anfield, I think you gave us a, a tough game. I can't say it was an, an easy game, even though, you know, obviously we still did do the job. Relax. But... Uh, <laughs> But I think you control possession well. I'm not going to lie. I feel like looking at that, as a Chelsea fan, I'd be excited because I'm thinking the only thing really in terms of going up against a Liverpool side who, defense, you know, yeah. is defence. Yeah, I think yeah. if you Pulling. if you had a better defence, you sustain more pressure. And in that game, you don't know where it could be. But the, the, the reality is it was consistently, it was hard to really control the game because even on the counter, like one when your defenders are going 1v1 because you're pressing high and you're trying to, you know, control possession, you know, it was it was just food for some of our players. Uh, I, I want to ask all of you something about Chelsea. Yeah? Do you feel like the problem is defensive structure of our or the actual personnel we have in defence? I think it's the personnel. I thought the because I thought the tactical setup was was on oh. the money today. I just think Cole will <laughs> toss in. Is it uh, is the other one? I just Adora a little bit messy. Um, just look like they just couldn't they just couldn't quite really uh, assert themselves on our attackers, and um, so I think with good defenders that can go 1v1, because I think if you're a top team, that is what you have to do. You have to defend a lot of space as a centre-back. You have to defend, a, you have to go 1v1 as the full-backs. So I just think that was the only thing. It was the centre-backs, really, uh, for me. And then Sanchez a bit as well. It's always a little bit of a liability. Bit shaky, like, yeah. so, so, yeah, but let's kind of hone in on a couple of key focus points. So um, I thought a big part of Chelsea starting that game well uh, was the pivot that they started with in Caicedo and Lavia. And I'm not going to lie, you know, as a Liverpool fan watching them, <laughs> as someone that wanted them, I said... At Anfield as well. Yeah, at Anfield, I thought, wow. Uh, did anyone want to talk about those two? Um, I, thought, I thought Lavia was amazing. I thought like he actually like dictated a lot of Chelsea's build-up and play. Um, we, we've, we've missed him. Like mm. I, I remember seeing him in pre-season. I was like, oh, I thought he was going to start start 
the whole season and he was going to be like perform. Obviously, he's had some injuries, but this is a future generational player. That's the future. You see how you're saying Gavin Birch is like the next big DM? Forget about that. That's the slap you're right there. <laughs> okay, even put Gavin Birch to, to the side. You just said a future generational player. If, if he continues in his tra- trajectory, yeah, 100%. Wow. Wow. You, you've seen the talent. See, I don't see what's wrong with that. Statement. Yeah, you've seen no, the talent. No, no, bro. it's a big statement, though. It's a big statement. I, I like, can see it. I'm not going to He's a very like, talented footballer. Well, he's, he's 20, isn't he? 20 he's now. absolutely unreal. If he manages to keep fit, then I, I don't, honestly, like, that, the sky's the limit issue, because yeah. he looks so composed on the ball. Like, it, it's it's an absolute joke. I'm Like, it, it's it's like watching a young Busquets on the ball. I'm not joking. I remember telling everyone. Brother, bro. I'm, I'm not joking. He is this clean. This, when, this, this, <laughs> this, this, this is when we go. I'm not saying that. He's a young Busquets on the ball. He's a, so he's a generational I, player. I'm not just letting the camera know. I do not agree with that. He's a young Busquets and we all know that. I don't know about Busquets yet. We ain't got there yet, but. I said a young Busquets, like, of the ilk. Of the ilk, man. He's silky. All right, cool. He's really silky. I remember I remember when we signed Caicedo and Lavia, and I told everybody that. In terms of potential, Lavia is hundred percent the better player. Everyone was like, "That's not true," but people, people can see this evident now. Yeah, no, that's it. But because I, I say there was no slouch today, he was. He was okay. I thought he was solid. I thought he put a solid performance in. He played well. But um, cool. Moving on anyway, um, into into more fun agendas. Uh, so yeah, like you said, dominated the ball well. Wide players looking pretty dangerous, particularly on Robertson's side. But where the hell was Palmer, my bro? Because yeah, you feel like if he had turned up. That could have been a key tipping point in the game. So what happened? No, he ghosted. He ghosted the game. We didn't see Palmer this game. Mm. I, I, can't. So, I saw evidence of him hiding, though, man. That's the thing. It's like it's not even a oh, thing wow. where he was really he hiding. He wasn't is really trying to get on the ball. Like, because if you think about it, yeah, you he saw had one the, chance. The clear the structure that I was looking at today. Like, I think Enzo Maresca, by the way, won the tactical battle, especially in the first half against Slot. Yeah, definitely. I feel like the way maybe that in the first half. You said yourself for like, twenty minutes, maybe. No, but he said you said yourself. I think the way that. Liverpool approached the first half I don't think it was intended by slot I think it's just what they got forced into during the pattern of the game yep. like mm-hmm. first 20-25 mm-hmm. minutes before you got the penalty I don't know what minute that was yeah. you lot didn't really do anything changed, yeah. in all honesty mm. just struggling to get out of your half so I think he done really well but I think yeah we ultimately was let down by his, his best player that's who you're relying on to, to really Produce. make things move yeah like Noni was really threatening I think Sancho was, was poor today if I'm being honest but you don't he's not your go-to guy Palmer just wasn't there, yeah. He just, anything, yeah. And if you think of what like Lavia and Caicedo are really controlling the ball as well, so like they had the opportunities to find him. Where was he though? Do you know he, know what I mean? he goes. I, he, I, I can't he, say anything. He, he actually goes. Yeah, through. no, no. He, he struggled. And you know what? I just think it's crazy because I heard all this week. You know what I mean? Salah's washed. He's past it. You know what I mean? He, he didn't do anything. There's a, there's a, there's a until new, the penalty, he didn't. Do okay, anything. okay. Let, let me finish. Let me finish. I heard there's a new king in town. There's a new face of the PL. Our graphic designer was all sending me saying, oh, let's do the torch has passed. I'm seeing on the rondo. I'm having to post this rubbish on the rondo about the, you the know torch being passed from Palmer to Salah. He, he came to the Kings then and what happened? Salah showed the him king, up, bro. King is crazy. Salah showed him up, bro. Really Salah showed him up and he showed life, him. Bro. He's still the king of the PL. 1G, 1A. And Salah, I can't lie, quality today, bro. Oh, the, the hold up the, play. The board cut strings as well. No, but that's there, was few, there was a few. But if you look at Palmer as well, yeah, it's not like he got shut down by like anyone. He a mad yeah, number six. He, he just ghosted. You're playing against Gavin Birch and obviously Jones did very well defensively today. But yeah, I don't know. It's a strange performance. And you got to think here: yeah, if he's being put in conversations where he is the top player in the Premier League, yeah, this is a soccer agenda. No, no, this it's is the standard, bro, that you're gonna get judged to. Because before last season, when he was having these performances, no one really cared, didn't it? Because you but lot he, weren't he performed really... against the big team. No, but season. you guys weren't in a position where we're looking at your best player saying, right, this could be the best player in the league. Now that you're, you've are you improved as a side, when Palmer does play badly, we're going to use that and, and we're going to say, listen, you can't be the top player in the league if you're going to do that. He came to the Kings then and he couldn't show up, man. He should prostrate for, Sac- for Salah at the end of the game. He should probably prostrate for him too, Saka as well. <laughs> <laughs> I can't lie right now. He didn't, he didn't turn up, man. I'm going to let all of you talk about Palmer like this because <laughs> he, he, he goes this today, you know? he, Nah, he's a top he player, him, yeah. He, hopefully, he's, he's still young during his career. He, He'll, he'll be back. Games, I, I, yeah. I just think it was just one of those, isn't it? Something. Like, Anfield's a big test, isn't it? But anyway, uh, right. I think we spoke about the fact that Chelsea did well and their wide players did well. I think Madio Ike gave uh, Robertson a lot of trouble. But on the other side, you just... They should have given them the ball more, though. Yes, they should have. But, but funny enough, I think because we doubled up on that side, I still think they should have gone down this side anyway. And Sancho was isolated against Trent on the other side because we, we left crazy. Salah up. What happened? 
Sancho couldn't really, really yeah, get much. Yeah, that definitely was a penalty. Nah, 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 I showed it to you after. That definitely wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was a tangle. You didn't. The, the, you the, didn't, the, the yeah, Sanchez one was constant. Not a penalty. You could have given it, but it's not. It's not slow penalty. In I real time, things look worse in slow mo. In real time, it's more of a tangle of legs than a no, but a foul. But the difference is, I'm being dead honest. No, but the difference is, is that the tangle has been forced by a change of direction from Sancho. Like the turn has done trip. Do you get what I'm trying to say? That's what you got actually. But they've kind of like they the turns done him and they're kind of like tangled with each other's yeah, but arms. He's only and then his legs because he's kind of coming. The turn has done him, isn't it? So to me, yeah. I'm not to sure. me it was. If VAR, but if VAR looks at it again, it should have been a penalty. I don't think the I don't think VAR should intervene. You I think can't, if the, you can't if, overturn it. Yeah, but I think it should have yeah, been given exactly. in the first. You can't place. Have, if the ref gave it, I'll I'll be seething, but I'll be like fair enough. But VAR to intervene. Little tangle, like you need to even watch it a second time to see the step on the leg because I didn't even see it I first time. One thing right. I would say is though, Sancho, like the best thing about him is obviously his associative play, his combination play. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think Gusto was poor, really going poor. Forward, like, a lot yeah. of the times, Sancho played him in, like he underlapped him, played him in. Gusto was terrible. I remember like before going the, forward before, yeah. before the match, I was telling you about the role that um, Gusto has been playing for Chelsea, and it's not the role that suits him. And we saw oh. that today. He sh- like, he shouldn't be inverted. And he I shouldn't be know, playing man. basically as an eight in the he game. That's, <laughs> that's not where he belongs. Like. It's confusing. It doesn't make it's sense. And he left acres of space <coughs> in behind for Salah to abuse every single attack. But, but we saw him last season as a as a last season we saw him as a right back who just goes up and down the channels. He was like amazing last season. Why are we gonna change? His role to something that doesn't actually suit him doesn't really make sense. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's it's weird, but more than football, isn't it? Favor of control, yeah. So that's that's the. Well, he's not the player. He's not a player for it. That's my point. Usually, it's good career though, isn't it? So. But I think we gotta give Trent credit defensively. Like I'm not gonna lie, at the end of that game, I'm sorry, but I, I, I do have to get these out here. I mean, at the end of that game, man, Trent's gonna open up his pockets. In one pocket, he's gonna have Sancho there. In the other pocket, it's gonna be Neto there. Like I all the tests, all that the tests that, that will come up against him. He, didn't have he did to oh, nah, he did he did well against Neto. I, I'm not gonna lie. In pocket. Starting off, you know, starting you know, off in the know, battle, you know, he had the better Neto. Then Neto got into it a little bit. You know, Trent got taken off, right? Yeah, so. Okay, yeah, so, so yeah, he got, take, he got taken you know, off. If you're down someone, would you take, would you take, take off, off your fullback? He did well defensively. He wouldn't take off your fullback. Neto started to get. Yeah, it was a good battle. <coughs> it was a good battle, but he did well. So, are you guys going to tell I'm me. Say, all I'm saying is, if my fullback is looking down someone, yeah, I'm not taking him off. Okay, so you guys are going to say right now Trent wasn't good defensively today? He was good. Yeah, he was good, but you're saying okay. that Neto's in his pocket. Come on, man. Stop okay, it. okay, okay, okay. I'll give him that. Him and Neto, a good battle. He started off. Better, I think, and then it'll go into it a little bit, start getting some joy. Sancho, though, we're gonna agree that one there, that one there's firmly Sancho in the pocket. Any any arguments there? HMP and we're gonna agree still. overall, it was a solid performance defensively. Thank you very much. I was gonna say that's yeah. what we're used to from Sancho. Like, why, so what's his agenda, bro? What's <laughs> it's no agenda. It's no agenda, bro. <laughs> this guy's a real hater, uh, Sancho. But to ask you, like, you're a United fan, you're an Arsenal fan. Did you feel like this was a top uh, like four clash? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. I think the what? game, the game was really good for me for the neutral. Like, good to watch. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. It was good. Well, you think it was a top four clash? Yeah, I fight for fourth place. I've, I've been saying this now. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I was saying. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. That's what I see it as, though. Oh, <laughs> like, it's the best, the best of the rest. The best of the rest. So you... <laughs> <laughs> it's cheeky guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Well, Arsenal nah, lost yeah. this weekend, so like... <laughs> so Arsenal, Arsenal lost this weekend to Bournemouth. Liverpool beat Chelsea, still at the top of the table, and you don't think Liverpool are involved in the tie race. You thought uh, that game today... After 10 games last season, Spurs were top. Okay. So you don't uh, think so you, so you don't <laughs> think that game fair enough man you don't, you don't think that has anything Aye. to do with the, the you don't see ex- except if anything Liverpool look worse today than what I expected them to be bro okay fair enough honestly I think Chelsea did Chelsea caused you a lot more problems than I thought they would G- genuinely like mm. I, I was looking at I thought it was going to like, be a draw like before and I thought it was going to be a draw so did I, you think honestly, Liverpool looked that, that good I don't think they looked amazing but I thought um, honestly well, I thought there was a gap between us and them. That's I think I think the only just I've watched them obviously when I went to the Chelsea Palace game, similar thing. Like you guys started really well. Like the peak, the peak level of your quality is, is, is level with the top sides. Yeah. But then, like one thing goes wrong, and it's, it's like off. you just revert to type. So the belief young, goes. Young team. You get, and that's the difference I think between you guys and Liverpool. I don't think it's the level. I just think it's the belief. Oh, okay. Genuinely, that's all okay. I think it is. And what, what's the gap between Arsenal and Liverpool? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I just I just think we're better than you. That's it. I just don't okay. I don't see. I feel like you feel like you and C are on a different tier. I wouldn't say different tier. I just think we're we're fighting with them. I don't see us fighting with Liverpool. So that's a different tier then. You think you think Arsenal and City are, are no, fighting because for I've the said title? I, I, you think I think, Liverpool I think are you're going to be there until March time again. 
true. And then the last, then the final two will separate. It's like, for example, it's still yeah, a different tier. Like, they they like, can't be consistent as you look. Do you remember like the, the 08 or 09 times where it's like Arsenal were there for time? And, and then like, the last off. month, like, yeah. you man were just. But that's a, t- that's a tier below. Yeah, it's like, it's like, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't, because I wouldn't say you're with Chelsea. I wouldn't okay. say you're with them. I think, okay. I think, I think there's a difference can, in those I can agree on that. So it goes like, I can agree with that. I say Chelsea are there, then like Liverpool, then the top two. That's how Villa with Chelsea? Villa with. Villa above Chelsea. I think Villa above you, though. Bro. I think Villa with Chelsea. I think Villa with Chelsea still. I don't. Inter- I don't interesting, guys, man. Take that in. Take that Chelsea. in, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I just, I just don't look at the camera. Bro, and say, why am I supposed to change my mind? Though I've nah, said this. No, nah, you, no, nah, you say that. I did because it. I saw I, you beat Chelsea and you struggled to get over the line today. I should now say, did oh, they and you, though? and you lost to Bournemouth this weekend. And you're behind us. What does that mean? I don't know what you. I don't know what you've shown this season to be above us. It's like not about that, though. Like it's, just, it's, uh, just understand, though, if they lose to you next week, we're only three points behind them. I just want to put <laughs> that out. Do you know where I'm at now with like, the title and stuff? Yeah, It's like, or not even that, but just After the, the tier. Yeah, just the tier. No, but just in terms of the tiers, like, we proved last season, yeah, that we could go second half of the season, put 16 wins, a draw, mm-hmm. and a loss. Like, we've got, this is our second Premier League game that we've lost all season. Like, not all season, 2024. First away loss. That's our top team, bro. Do you get it? Like, doesn't matter. We lost one game. What? We're yeah, still no, in a different. To no, me, we're enough, still yeah. a level above you, look, in my opinion. Isn't it? So I don't think that's so. How I, see it. I don't think so. I think. I think, you, I think, I think, I think we're better than you. you have actually. To still pr- I actually have to think you have to prove. What it, did you say? Repeat that. I think we're better than Arsenal. Damn. But like, look at the end of last 100%. season. Yeah. Based like, off of what? Based off of what? But this is what I'm trying to say. Dream based off of what? Based off ten wins out of eleven. What does that mean? Spurs, Spurs done that eight, last season. Eight, we're beating good team. Eight Premier League games. You're we saying this already. <laughs> I don't care. But it look at the quality. Out. You can't compare us to Spurs because look at the quality right. of our players. Look so? at the quality of our players. Yeah. I'm more, yeah. I'm more certain season, about Arsenal in, in matches than I am about Liverpool. Uh, if you say so. Yeah, yeah but this is the highest problem because he doesn't think this is a common opinion. He thinks what I'm saying is crazy. Yeah, but Liverpool fans have to understand the rest of the league. When we're talking about titles, I think even Enzo Moresco said it yeah, in his press conference. Said, but us to get to Arsenal and City's level, he didn't yeah. mention you, man. You but, know that, innit? You know, I, I know it's a common opinion. Now that's fine. They're all wrong. <laughs> like, that's fine. I'm just saying. <laughs> we're we're going to keep on <laughs> consistently <laughs> chipping away. So, so you have got, to. So you have to prove. Because what we got cooking. Yeah, so you have to I'm, prove to the rest of the league, bro. <laughs> don't ever, don't ever say about we have to prove now. We do have to prove it. You capitulated at the end of last season. No, we You lot are all wrong. You lot are all deluded, and you will come to the truth. So you don't have to. So Liverpool don't have to prove that they're up there with. No, no, no. You you all have to realize that's a type of language we need to start adopting <laughs> so anyway moving on <laughs> moving on yeah. anyway yeah um arsenal uh, uh, actually are there any big because i yeah, think it's quite united oh before we talk about no we are going to talk about united in the match roundup they mean come on united uh, <laughs> I thought, I thought the, the united we don't, we don't the, give a lot of time to them the goals they scored bro Amazing, bro. Oh, good goals, though. Good goals. I don't, I don't, want, so, I don't want the convo. Just before them, we move off the exactly. Liverpool Chelsea game, though, guys, I know we're moving forward there. Just the refereeing. Um, I think there were a, a couple of decisions that are kind of interesting. So the Jones, the VAR one that was overturned. No, that was no, 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 not the, not the Jones. The one, the one that's similar to the Arsenal situation. Yes, that one's more interesting. The yeah, Jackson yeah, one. I was more interested. Uh, Tossin. It's not a red card. Tossin though, takes man. out J- Jota. I saw Arsenal fans going crazy. It's, it's annoying me when That's they victim do that, mentality, bro. bro. I hate oh, it. It's jarring. <laughs> no, mums, <laughs> it's, so, it's so hard. No, but even, no, but even Arsenal fans have a problem with that. I think, they, I think it's a serious problem because they always, it's constant complaining about decisions not going their way. It happens to everyone. It's not a singular, it's, mm-hmm. it doesn't happen to just them alone. So why do you feel like the one that happened in the Liverpool and Chelsea game with Jota and Tossin is different, different nuance, to the n- uh, Saliba and Evan Nilsson one? So the way that the ball is moving is clear. That, I feel like that should be a clear indication of where the ball's going. For the for the, Ars- for the one that happened against Arsenal, Saliba, the ball's going towards ball's the goal. goal yeah. mm. So that means that individual is running that's, towards that's the, the goal. That's, and the, that's, the, that's the biggest difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, and, and that for me I don't is enough. Were, that's were, it. But I still think... Should, should yeah, no, no. And, and again, no, again, I again, I don't, I don't think either was a red card as well. I think it was harsh on Saliba. Oh, but what I would say is, I can see why that was given and why this one wasn't. Yeah, the ball was moving <laughs> you know, towards the was goal, and that one was moving away. Yeah. 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 Congo was also closer as when well. When you're a you have head loss. Yeah, to see something like that the day after. Yeah, it's not like that's how it was. It's like bro, it's their life, bro. But I think, but I think this kind of takes us nicely into the Arsenal game. Um, anyway, and I just wanted to start off with with that because if you're looking at it with that chance, with that uh, red card that was given uh, oh. against Saliba 30 minutes into the game. That obviously is, I don't think actually Arsenal started that well, but that is really the, the, the kind of, it's the, it's the biggest thing in the game, really. I think that kind of t- completely changes the game state. So Jaden, you're saying you don't think it should have been a red card? Talk to um, us. I don't think it should have been. 
I don't think it should have been. I wouldn't have complained if it was given, but the reality is it wasn't sh- given. You don't think it should have been re- revisited? Yeah, I don't think it should have been. You don't intervene with something like that. Yeah. Bro. I think there was enough doubt. Like, there's enough. If we're going by the letter of the law, which is what people keep saying to us when things go against us, they keep saying, oh, this is the letter of the law. Like, when it came to Declan Rice, yeah. But to me, that's not. You can't intervene for that and overturn it, innit? I think the distance between, you know, where they are and the goal, I think, you know, you got to factor in that even though the striker might get onto it, is he going to be able to get a shot off in that situation? We don't know. It's not 100%. Cool. Not 100% sure, because I, I still think Saliba, to be honest, he was an idiot anyway, he shouldn't have done that. But he probably would have got back, if I'm being honest. But you can't me. factor that in, so I, I think, disagree I with think, that. But if we're talking you about can't factor in the pace though, of a defender. About, but you can factor in the fact that, that. He's, he was an idiot, so that he, he, should, he didn't need to do yeah, that. And he yeah, no, we, so can fact, we can factor that. We, cards, no, we right. can factor that in, but I, I just don't I just don't think that was a red card. I just don't think it's enough to, to overturn it. That's what I'm talking about. If it was given, I'd be sitting here and I'd put my hands up and I would say, listen, fair enough. Fair. Do you get what I mean? But then I'm looking at like other games and I, I'm trying to understand what is the threshold for overturning something. There that's what one. I don't understand. There is one. Yeah, that's what, that's like, what the problem Do you know what I mean? It's a bit wayward. It's this clear and obvious, but I don't think the clear and obvious thing is always the easiest to, for for a VAR assistant to, to kind of come in on. I don't think it's always I, the I, easiest. I, 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 why the why is there such a problem in like the UK or in English football, but it's not a problem in like, interna- like international football in the Champions League and stuff like that? Because I, I think in, in, in the Champions League, they just more do we're just intervening if it's the wrong decision. But I think in the UK, we've got this big fixation on clear and obvious where I think there's a little bit of uh, yeah, no. obscurity. And then also, I think the referees are just crap. So I think that yeah, also the referees is, are a, is, is, is a big thing as the well. The way but the laws are written, to me, is poor. There's two, like, they're trying to make it clear, but at the same time, they're still leaving it open to like interpretation. someone's interpretation. So it's yeah. just, yeah. It's just do you think? Do you not think that Arsenal fans went a bit OTT though? Because... I think he did. Um, I made the TikTok no, about it as well I because I, um, I, I just think yes, it was a bit harsh for VAR to overturn it, but at the end of the day, it's it, you know it's it's a red. Like you know, it, you know it could have been a red. The ref could have given it, and there's enough there for you to be like for you to just get on with the game. They started these mad conspiracy theories it's, saying that the, that the VAR it's not, it's not uh, is oh, is a Liverpool fan <laughs> and they're playing Liverpool next week. And it's, I was thinking, it's, it's crazy. You're it's embarrassing. You're, you're literally you know what, embarrassing. You know what it is, yeah. Mourinho does this a lot. He he creates a. Um, culture in a club where it's like us against the world siege yeah. mentality siege mentality siege I feel mentality. like um, Pep done it last season as well when all the other clubs came to attack them um, in the yeah so I feel like Arsenal fans are trying to force this when it's not actually happening like <laughs> they, they force it way too much because Arteta kind of done that as well and to be honest has he created that Wenger, mentality Wenger properly also done it when our players were getting hacked down everywhere he also went out and said you know we're not protected <laughs> so this is something no but this is something that this is something that's been happening isn't it yeah. It's something that's been happening. So, well, you, so you're you're thinking. So you're you don't think Arsenal fans starting conspiracy theories about the no, that's VAR a drag. guy. That's be, a drag. Oh, okay. But to asking them whether they're annoyed, they should be annoyed or think it's not a red card. Of course, they're. they're I think well be a little right. bit annoyed, but at the end of the day, it's not. And, like, and to be honest, no, 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 but yeah. can I say? Can I say as well? Yeah, like. I don't think it's just Arsenal fans, by the way. I think other fans generally, the bigger problem isn't just Arsenal. Like, we've made it Ars- an Arsenal thing, but other fans think that it's a Man City's opposition thing. Do you get what I'm trying to say? To the point where, like, anyone that's going up against Man City, it doesn't happen. Like, I think for the decision that went against us, I think it could happen to someone else next week. But I can mm. tell you for sure it's not going to happen to City. It's not going to be them. It might be you. It might be you. It might be you. It's not going to be City. Trust me. Them man get all the decisions, bro. Mm, they get all the decisions today, for even them. Today, even today, the guy's today, gone to the monitor and looked at it today. and hasn't overturned his decision. When's that ever happened? Bro? I've never seen that. Yeah, in addition, I've never to seen I, it. I actually think that was offside, but we'll probably get to that. Oh, I, I, I don't think it was. I don't think it was. You don't want to be seeing that being given in the game. I don't think it was. You don't want to be seeing that get given in the I think that's crazy. But to be honest, like the Arsenal fans, like they need to man up, man. They complained about the red, but they've been talking about all the other issues as well. So personally, I don't think it's that deep for them to talk about the red. We've also spoken about. Like Arteta being poor, they spoke about the team when we played with eleven. There's so many other things that they complained about outside of that. I hear it, but complain when it's a shocker. When it's a shocker, no, like you don't actually know why I overturned. But if it, if I, it's like, there's something if in it's, it. Like, if, if it's there's something in it, you like the ref has you've given him a is decision something in it because the ref gave the decision first that it wasn't a red card. That's why. That's what you don't understand, bro. Okay. Anyway, anyway, we we. we We've got a time to stick to. Wait. Moving on. Okay, you talked about other issues that Arsenal have. Arsenal obviously lost uh, to Bournemouth two 0 I think the shock result of the weekend, maybe the shock result of the se- of the season so far. Um, <laughs> that was, def- <laughs> that was a shock result, been, man. man. Come on, man. What, well, Jalen? Talk to us. What well, you said that you think that there's problems outside of the red card because you didn't start too well with eleven. What's going on there? Yeah, I, th- I think we were shocking with eleven personally, but. 
I don't know. My, so my issue is not really the game in isolation. Again, this is something that I've been complaining about for, for a while. The recruitment, to me, the windows just haven't been good enough. Like the, the quality of players that we're bringing in. Yes, I understand Saka was not there. Odegaard was not there. That's fine, yeah. But like the direction that we've gone in since, you know, Jesus and Sinchenko came in, obviously it put us in a very good position, yeah. Since then, I'm looking at like someone like Kirio, yeah, was bought for, I think, 25 million pounds, yeah. Came in during that January and wasn't good enough to play ahead of Rob Holden. Like that cost us a that cost us a title, innit? it? So the quality yeah. of the player, I think he was good enough. I think that was a mistake by Arteta, though. But based on the way that he's playing now, would you say that I this is a player it. that should be playing for no. us? No, he's, he's not good enough. He's not, yeah, I don't know. He's, he's not good better enough. than Holden. No, but, 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 but I what, what I'm saying, saying is that it, overall, it's just not the quality of player that we should be signing. Like, okay. Look at Marino. Mm -hmm. People are saying, oh yeah, he's going to be the one to restore, you know, the balance on the left hand side again. Is that really the level of player that should... It reminds me of like a Pablo Mario or like a Lucas Perez. Ooh. That's the type of side... That, honestly, that's what it looks I, like I to agree, me. I agree, though. It's a not Pablo a Mario? Bro, it's not a specialist yeah. player, bro. These are just Spanish guys. Well, that that you're getting <laughs> excited by their Or that Gabriel defender they had for a bit. <laughs> yeah, Gabriel like, Palista. Like these man, like... Do you know what I'm saying? No, no, but, but we level. signed a lot of players like that. Like, genuinely, where I'm looking at it, and I'm two just games like, in. Sterling yeah, has come in. Bro, we've needed attackers for two Marino's seasons. Marino's a nothing player, bro. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't this, think he's a nothing player. Wait, 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 sorry, sorry. Give sorry. him some time. Let me learn. No, no, he's a nothing player. Yeah, we'll give him like Sorry, sorry. We'll get back to Jalen. Sorry. What, what? He's a nothing player. Marino's a nothing player, you say? He doesn't add anything to Arsenal at all. He's a squad player, man. Bro, <laughs> why, he can come in. Why do you call him a nothing player? So you don't think he gives anything? He seems kind of good defensively. Seems like he's got a nice pass on him. You don't think anything? That's fine, but for the role that they bought him for, it's not good. Like, it's not going to work. He's nothing for them. He doesn't add to their squad. You don't, you just don't. Yeah. When they, you don't when think they, you can add anything going forward. Then. I was surprised when they made that sign. I was like, like really, like this is what you're gonna sign for your. But eight. I need it because, like, what what does he not have for you? Two what games. Do, what in? does he have, bro? Let me <laughs> ask you. He's, he's, he's good aerially and he's good defensively, and he's an eight. It's not really making sense to me. <laughs> do you know? I always you don't think do he's gonna anything else. To kind of explain no. it, like to, oh, to opposition crazy. fans, <laughs> no, but to explain it to you, man. Yeah, I always ask like the rival yeah. fans, what did you think we needed? Like at the end of last it season, wasn't a striker. Yeah. what did we need, bro? I'm yeah, asking. Attackers. Like you we knew what we needed. One, one attacker, a, a striker, or like an advanced eight. Yeah, bro, yeah. you needed a killer. So there you go. This so I, so my problem is, yeah, I think with the recruitment and this leads to obviously yesterday's game because we keep ended up in these game states. Like we've gone down to ten, obviously three times now, yeah, where we need an individual basically to you know bail us out because we can't rely on playing a system of good football. Obviously, when you're down to ten men, or you know when like. Like Slot had it today where Enzo's obviously stuffed him tactically. So your players kind of have to figure it out on the pitch. You get it. They have to have a level of, you know, individualism or something, some individual quality. We keep signing players based on versatility. Do you get it? We're not signing like specialist profiles or, you know, a bags man. We're, we're signing a nine because he can play three positions and defend. Bro. We're not signing a nine that is just good at scoring <laughs> and, oh, that's your job. Do you yeah, get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and that's what I think the problem is. It's like, I, I just want to recruit players, bro, that, like I look at, There's always I saw like a video. Some wider tactical you know, we, plan. There, there was a video of us beating Bolton like ten years ago, yeah. And I looked at the team. We went down to ten men, yeah. We were two 0 down, one three two. I looked at the attackers. I said, "Raw, Van Persie, Adebayor, Cesc, Raziki, Leb, all of these men individually by themselves could do something, bro." Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, On the pitch yeah. yesterday, who is there individually that I could say, "Yeah, you Martin by yourself, Nelly. forget forget the system, just you do your thing." You get Nelly, it? Nelly, Nelly, Martin, Nelly, 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 what you say? What? <laughs> individual quality. Individual quality, bro. You don't Nelly think Martinelli has indi Nelly, individual Nelly, uh, quality? Martinelli's goals were a product of our system in 22-23. Like, yeah, he finished it off, but it's like Sterling at Man City, bro. Do you get it? Like, he's, you're, you're on the end of, I, I you're on the end of moves. Okay. But you're when, right you're, when, when, you're, when you're down and out, bro, look at the players on the pitch. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, enough. you know what I'm saying? And that's the recruitment for me. Like I said, we need to move more towards now, like, Having players, bro, that are just let, good by themselves. Them please. Okay. Look, that's that's yeah. why when you asked me if this result was a shock, when I saw the lineup, I said in their attack, there's no difference makers here. Yeah. So it wasn't actually a shock that they lost to me. And fair enough, no. Saka what was that piece called by Bournemouth, by the way? It was oh, oh, oh my oh, days. And the fact that they, 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 they uh, scored that against the set piece kings and, and Arsenal. Then they, they trolled you about it. So <laughs> 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 but I thought that goal, though, that's a goal of the month contender. That was serious. We've been a goal of the month contender. Son's goal. This Son's weekend. goal was Son's nice goal as well. Good. Yeah. Which one? The Steppies? Yeah, the Steppies. Yeah, 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 yeah. He did them still. I feel like Garnacho's first back goal the years. as well. I think Garnacho's, that goal, the technical mm. ability he displayed for that was Brazy. unbelievable. Brazy. Mm -hmm. was, yeah, it was unbelievable. As a, as a Chelsea fan, do you think Sterling, like us taking Sterling on loan was better than keeping Reese Nelson? No. I th honestly, I'm, I'm with but, the same like Sterling's, right he's done. 
It's a cheap deal, though. I think. I just, I just half think that's, I just yeah. think going from last season, yeah, like, I asked all of you, man, what we needed. What does it add to Arsenal? And you all said we needed a bags man or a tackle, like a fuck off attacker, this, that, whatever. Yeah. And you signed Sterling. You signed Sterling, Sterling bro. <laughs> Eighty nine yeah. points we had last year. Or, or that's what we're chasing here. We're, we're literally trying to get the last one to two points, the finest margin. Yeah. And you signed Sterling. Yeah. No, it's not. I guess it's not good enough. But moving on to Bournemouth. Um, yeah, like I said, I thought their set piece was nice. I thought who was his, who was there? Is it Scott? Is that his name? The ten. Alex Scott. Alex Scott. Yeah. Yeah, I thought he was nice. You know, I thought he had a good game. Uh, I thought he was busy. I think Bournemouth in general, they, they they did a good job on Arsenal. Like you said, even before it went to ten men, uh, I think they managed to make the game a little bit bitty, a little bit uncomfortable, and yeah, they got a result. I think they might be able to do a little. Yeah, away at Bournemouth, it's not for everyone. Yeah, and ninth to eleventh. <laughs> Little, little <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we beat Bournemouth 3-0. I'll just put that out there. We, we won 1-0 away from home. So, you know what I mean? Cool. Moving on to the match roundup. I think, so <laughs> City played, I think we're doing a lot on the title charge, so we may as well just finish that up. So City played against Wolves. Tough game for them as well. They win it in the last minute. I think we've already done a, a little bit around the offside. So that was kind of the, the big thing from the game. Stone scores. Bernardo Silva is, a, you know, kind of, you know, potentially interfering with play. You say you think it should be offside. Yeah, um, I think you're interfering with play if the goalkeeper has He's to not move. Interfer- your, if, so, if, when the corner's taken, Game's gone. when the corner's Bro. taken, so when the completely corner's, gone. When the corner's taken, the ball's been swung into the box. Bernardo Silva's in front of um, the keeper. The keeper's had to push Bernardo Silva, yeah? So because of that action, that small action, he's now not ready to save the shot that happens a second later. And remember, in football, everything's going extremely fast. Mm. So that one second is the split difference between Wolves getting the point and getting nothing. But, but why, does, will... why does that make him offside? It doesn't. If, when the corner, inter- com- no, when, when the the corner comes in, yeah? So you struck, you struck the ball, the corner taker struck yeah. the ball. He's onside. Bernardo's onside. Yeah, yeah. So. so until Stones makes contact with the ball, it doesn't matter that... Once he's made contact, yeah, yeah, if he's in the way, then cool. But he and made I, the contact yeah. and Bernardo was out of the way completely. I'm not disputing that, but the, the second that he's had to... So he's had to push him... While he was on side. While that's, he was on side. That's, that's fine. But <laughs> it's now off, he's now offside when Stones has made contact with the ball. But he's gone, though. Separate, right? This is a separate action, it's, though. It's yeah. not a separate action. It's, it's a separate action. How can you the same action? No, no, but how can you the same action? It's the same corner. It's the same corner. Wait, wait, wait. Bro, you're moving buzz, bro. I'll be real. You're moving buzz. I think that's a janky decision. No, but let's say let's say Bernardo like recovers now, yeah, into an onside position and Stones flicks the ball onto him and then he scores. Is that offside? In an onside position? Yeah. Because he's onside. It's different. Bernardo but he was, was onside when he done that, though. No, he was he was off he's offside when the when Stones has made contact with the yeah, ball. Yeah, but by bro. that he, point he's out of the way. That's what I'm trying to say. Way, yes, but before, everything but before, you're talking about is before. before. Yes, yeah, and the when, second before that he was onside. He was onside. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's offside in it. He's sticking to your guys. I think he's offside. What I can't believe though is the ref sticking by his decision. They've never done that. They've never done that. But for C they do it. But I actually do think it was the right decision. So again, I'm not gonna start a conspiracy theory on the back of that, given it was a right decision like an Arsenal fan would. But uh, yeah, moving swiftly on. Guardiola's goal though, that game. What a finish! <laughs> Fucking hell, that guy, get, that guy, oh, that guy. Another guy made a video. He, anno- he jars me, bro. He what a finish! He jars. Is that six a defender, foot, brother. He's six foot two. He's six foot two, built like a centre back. He's playing left back. Obviously, he's locked down because he's built like a cruiserweight boxer. And a man is laying off shots like that off his weak foot. Just a fantastic player. He's bro, a fa- he's a he's, fa- un- he's, he's a boy. phenomenon, you know. I think because he plays for City, it's like. Yeah. Not no, really no spoken rare. about as much, but what he's doing for but, them is crazy. He's one of the best attacking fullbacks in the league. He's one of the best defensive. Two fullbacks years in the ago, league. he was like the big centre back talent in the world. Yeah, people have let that go under well, the radar. He's still a talent when you go right to now. Man City, it's like you just you're fitting in amongst yeah, everyone exactly. else. You get it, but. Fam, if he was at any other big club, <laughs> the PR <laughs> machine on him. But if I had that guy playing for my team, I'd be thinking, can't chat to me. What? I got this type of baller, six foot two, like this. Hundred <laughs> percent. And you know, and the thing is, on top of the the shooting and that, you know, he's got like a good little jink on him mm-hmm. to create those shots. Is he, is he considered like the best defender at City right now? Oh, um, yeah. Diaz. It's not Diaz. No, but like ahead of Diaz. It's not Diaz. He's already Diaz. Title, Diaz is better than what he gets credit for, man. That's a solid defender. Diaz. Diaz is not a loud defender. That's why we don't like give him someone who flawed it. I, I feel don't like everything Diaz he does is with like the top guys. Though. He's not, he's a no, but, he's, but he's good, though. Do you think Guardiola could, could be with, like, this? In the future, yeah, unfair. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. If he missed the centre-back, probably. But as a full-back, bro, I well, think Croatia he's the, plays centre-back. I think he's the best left-back in the league, man. I'm not going to lie. Ooh. Right now, yeah. Yeah. No one's better than him. Yeah. He's hard, bro. 
Cucurella's birthday. Oh, stop. Anyways, yeah. Right, next anyway, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> next topic. <laughs> next topic, man. Next topic. West Ham versus Spurs. So I think an interesting one from that that I wanted to mention with you guys is Spurs were a little struggling kind of um, in the first half. Second half, they blew them away. They took off James Madison, who I thought was playing well. But I think the reason why they took him off is because Spurs have struggled defensively this season, a lot because they're, they're very open on the counter-attack. And I think that's because they're playing those two eights in Kulosevsky and Madison with a holding midfielder in Basuma or Bentenko, who's not even the most destroyer type. And there's just like a lack of balance there. They bring Saar in and suddenly they look a lot more solid. So the question is to you guys, does Spurs look better without Madison? Because I think they do. They did. And then you think much. if they're playing 4-3-3, three, three, well, what, does, what does that leave for? They did in that second half. I think the only issue here is that Madison's English. If he wasn't English, then people <laughs> wouldn't be talking about him like this. Oh, it's, it's, they took my man off. Though, they took my man off, and he, they played better. I don't get what the, there should be no discourse. Costa Coglu did the right thing, and they won. But what? He's what? a good player. To me, it's a good player. I think, I think, I think his reputation is because I think last season, you know, you had guys like Ayo saying this is one of the top tens in the league. He's better than Odegaard. Just that way. That's, that's based season. off the way he's playing. Okay, right but now. It, but it's but once you start having conversations that. This is what he I'm puts him about. on a pedestal and then now no, we're talking like... No, but this is why I don't like doing shit like that. Form, you know I'm trying to say in terms of his form, in terms of his form, he's playing fantastic. I didn't... But even before... Did that, I say he was a better player? Okay, but even, anyway, even right, before right. that, yeah, like he... Before he left to go to Spurs, I think a lot of, a lot of clubs were looking at him, a lot of fans mm-hmm. were saying, you know, this is someone that could potentially come and play in our team. Yeah. You get it? That's why, that's why he's in those combos. But generally, from what I've seen, Kulisevsi to me seems better. And you can't play both. No, Kulisevsky is better. It's not yeah. the same. He is as an A. Is as an A. Is, is but but I, don't, I, don't as an should, a. I don't think you should ever play two of them together. Which yeah, is, yeah, I that's, that's my point. That's absolutely yeah. wild. Kulisevsky is better than as an A. I don't know. I if think he's a better footballer. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Definitely. Is he a better player? Yeah, yes. No, but he's overall a better player. I think Kulisevsky is a better player. I don't know. I don't know. He's a better eight than Madison is a ten. That's it, like... You think so? Yeah, and line, if, if, if that's a... Well, just because he's in good form right now. Over. It's, not that fir- it's not the first time I we've like seen Kulisovsky. I like this isn't the first time, bro. like... Yeah, yeah. This is not the first time he's played eight, isn't it? No, no, no. Yeah. No, it's not. Bro, come it's on, man. He's good before he, that He's been well. playing there for most of the season. You see, when Conte yeah, was there. Yeah, this season, yeah, this season, this season. For most of the season, he's been... Played a little bit less. No, he's been very good. He's been very good. He's a top player. But I don't... I don't know if you can say that just yet. I'd like to see him a little bit more. He's just overrated, bro. I can't like that. I like Madders, man. Take him down. Nah, yeah. Oh, I mean, well, to be fair, don't, don't, don't take a lot. Don't take a lot. Don't take a lot. That's actually two guys that I put in his like, top three sides last season. Though. That's. <laughs> Matt is, Matt is at the time, though. Come on. Shabazz, like, oh. Oh dear. I thought you we didn't speak about him. Oh God, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that guy is a crime to football, man. I swear down. And you know what just baffles me? That Slot has done so much good at Liverpool. But the fact that Where's he can. Cons- He's injured at the moment. Okay. But even still, the fact that Shabosa somehow consistently plays 90 minutes. He's doing something I'm like, I'm like what, what is he doing? Yeah, what he's, what he's has doing he something. got on you on the slot? <laughs> what has he got on you? Because I'm watching him there in that Chelsea game where control was key. And bro, the ball, he's giving the ball away consistently turnovers. And that's going to cost us against better opposition. I, I think, honestly, um, playing Mac in the 10, Jones, grabbing Birch, pivot, please. It's, please. It's, it's everything please, God. Even his ball striking that I thought was really good. He got a chance in the first half where he's, he's gone through on goal and he just it looks like a simple finish. He miss hits the ball. Mm. Like it, so even the basics that he, he was doing very well doing before, before. He, he's not doing that anymore. So yeah, I don't his know. His ball striking even weird. It takes him ages to get a shot off. I, I, can't, like, I just don't think he has much of a football brain or a brain at all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe, maybe that's a bit harsh. Anyway, you know, back wait, onto um, the match round Spurs up. Spurs is that the quality of their football right now. Where do you see them? We are talking about categories earlier. Are they with the Villas and Chelsea's like, yeah, I think they're ar- I think they're around there, but I think they're gonna. I think they're a level below. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, yeah probably. Solanke. No I think they can do right. a little little. Yeah, what what like kind son, of son was looking flary. Son, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Son, son, son was, he was yeah, looking yeah, back. No, like, right. That step warm, over man. goal, bro. You know what that, yeah, it was hard. <laughs> Bro, because he was separation he created he, as yeah, well. Yeah, he was trying at the start of the game when I was thinking, old man, please. <laughs> relax, <laughs> relax. But bro, it started to cook, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I said, yeah. hey, he's saying, he's saying like, you still got a little something. No, I'm not going to lie. cold, man. Nah, he's cold, bro. <laughs> when he did those steps, he's But Tolibo, or whatever his name is, I, yeah. he, he did not have a good game, brother. In that in that second half where West Ham tried to chase it, he was all How over How much did West Ham spend? West Ham all over the They spent all over the I thought Kudus was good in the first half. Yeah, he was. He scored the goal. But why did he start slapping? <laughs> he's vexing. He, he just started no slapping way. people. Bro, the bro, game. He's cold. His team is getting smoked. He he's actually there, done bro. his thing. He don't want to be... Bro, he's annoyed, bro. He don't Fair enough. So you said, then you just start slapping people. <laughs> bro, he didn't just do that. He kicked man first. He was kicking man, man, right. yeah. kick man on the floor first before he did that. Yeah, he's nuts. I'm not sure he should be doing all of that if he wants to get his moves. I think he should tone it down a bit. 
club. Nah, sure. I don't think. I just think. It's just not playing. They, they, didn't, they, they play? didn't like him. They played Ant- Antonio the last game. That's what I'm saying. They signed they, him over Durant. Brother, West Ham, <laughs> no, that, that was a shocker. No, West, West Ham, bro, crazy. They're all over the guy. They, they can sign 99 strikers. Somehow, Antonio <laughs> 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 will end up back at nine, bro. He'll be 42. They would have signed fucking Harlan somehow. And he'll still and, be playing. And Antonio will play. Don't you think they should just play like Bowen up top? And they do. Yeah. They do. They do. They do. That's what Moe's did. And then they've got Somerville on the left. Yeah, that's what Moe's did last season. But Lopetegui is that hard. Like every time he comes on, some of us look good. He, anyway. he looked good. Like he looked. Yeah. Clean the I don't know why they don't do that. So Lopetegui in January, in general, people are saying that he's probably going to be the first manager. To yeah, he, they've been awful this season. They have. Like, been. The, the only other team that I'm saying has been worse is Wolves, but Wolves have had a very hard like fixture list. West Ham, they've just like just been awful. You know what? They deserve this though. The grass ain't always greener. Their man mm. complained for years. Fair. Boys won them a trophy. They still. Wolves will never get them to the so next level, which they want though. What is the next What's level? What's the next level though? When you look at the teams above you, look at the top six. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm sure teams need to be very realistic about the expectations. Club wants that makes to break no that sense. mode. You understand? Who that? cares? This is the risk on the other side. Now you're getting vexed because you're at the bottom. Brother, yeah, and now, now you're next. Moyes, Moyes looked you in the eye. Look the press call. He said to all of them, said, "Listen, you might want more. Yeah, I've given you a European title. Yeah, so you know what that is for West Ham. I put you in the top ten. You don't think clubs should want more? What do you want? No, no, no. What more do you want than the European trophy to challenge for the like the, for what? the top? Like, how the top how can they do that? Look at the teams above them. How can they do they that? They try to build a team that can challenge. That's what they were trying to do with all these signings. Well, now look. Look who we are now. It's a risk. You need to get serious. I said no. What? So if Bournemouth gets eighth now, they're gonna say they managed to happy and say we want to challenge West Ham. If you're finishing between. 7th and 10th yeah. and, you're getting what a trophy. They are. and you're getting a trophy you that's a level up for them you're winning a trophy but should, should they be happy to stay at that permanently yes they should yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. unless well, they unless they get more investment unless they get more. even Obviously more investment no but remember their no. complaint was the style of football yeah but look at West Ham now look remember you're Leicester once won the league in this in the Premier League yeah with Claudio Cla- Ranieri doesn't matter clubs can attain for more like they can want more than what they are but I think the style of football was fine fair enough Give why didn't they give Moyes that money and see what he does. Come he's on. had money before, though. Yeah, he has to be fair. He's, 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 never, he's never going above where, where, where that, that's he is. That's his level. No, yeah. but I, 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 I can't lie. So I, who I can't back That's going to take them there. They have to take a risk. I don't think like... Why, why do they have to take a risk? This is their risk. The risk. You know what the problem this is? It's very yeah, failed, but... Bro, you take a you risk in the Premier. You should have for taking that risk in itself. Yeah, but you take a risk in the Premier, you can end up getting relegated, bro. All the mid-table teams are close. Facts. Yeah. It's fucked, bro. They're actually in a chiz. Like, they're in a situation. They could go down. It's not. It's not a joke anymore. I think it'll be fine towards the end of the season. Very quickly, I want two last points. So Southampton, <coughs> Ipswich, played today, played yesterday, sorry. Southampton, Leicester. Southampton, Leicester, you're very right. Southampton, Leicester. Southampton lose 3-2. There's a, there was a couple. No, two no, Howler, no. Howler refereeing decisions, which, which to be fair, we've done enough on refereeing. But Ramsdale on that last one, anybody got anything on that? Let me He's say something. Yeah? Let me say something. <laughs> <laughs> I know you want to say Eddie spent 30 mil on this keeper, yeah? And we were gaslighted. Some of the Arsenal fans were gaslighted last season, saying, bro, like, why... Are you guys back in Rio over this guy? This that whatever, bro. This guy's dead. <laughs> He's dead. Food. So, bro, do you know what Ramsdale does? Yeah, as well. It's like there's goals that go in, and it's not an obvious mistake. Mm. But you're thinking to yourself after, how did that go in? Like the shot don't. Look, it doesn't look. <laughs> it something doesn't look, look, look right. Like it but it's in. not obvious. Like it's not an obvious error in it. But you just think to yourself, how did that go in? Do you get it? And there's so many goals like that. And I just think, like, Sanchez, he's Sanchez been relegated how many times? Well. Three, is it three times or four times he's been relegated now? Three. three. I think it might be four, you know? Three, three. three. But the thing is, what I wonder is, if he gets relegated this time, is he coming back? Yes. No, he won't. Um, he's English. Back. Think about yeah. the way. Think, <laughs> think about, about, think about the way. He's going to go down the English goalkeeper. He was a part of No, 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 but think about it. I don't know, you know. You've got four relegations on your CV. You've got a high wage. Like, why would, why would you go and get someone like that? You think he's going to fall off like Robert Green or something like it's that? It's not fall off, but you're just not that level. I don't know if he's going to come. I think he might have to get Southampton back up himself. It'd be, it'd you know, like, Arsenal have played worst, that. Worst, worst comes to worst, it would be like a Fraser Forster type goalkeeper. Days Forster the played in the Championship as well, don't know. Yeah, Fraser Forster played in the, in the Championship, bro. For a minute. What was he? For a minute, bro. Jeez. For a minute. Ramsdale is going to get forgotten. Yeah, about, about I feel like that. this fall off is this fall off is crazy, you know. It's not fall off. This is who he was. This is what I'm trying to say. Bro. <laughs> Please, bro. So, listen to what I'm saying. I'm trying to say. I think that was good performance as well. I think that was good performance as well. I don't think he was as dead as you say. But Brahimi. what you're saying about he wasn't dead at Arsenal. What you're saying about the goals. Listen, listen, listen. There's two goals that come to mind where my man should have saved it and he didn't. And I'm thinking, yo, there's a couple more. No, there's more than two, but there's two specifically in my mind. The Anthony one, a left foot, right winger, that's running to the, towards the ball, he dived near post. <laughs> Who in the right fucking mind does that, bro? Yeah. 
<laughs> Who dies near that, Portsmouth? That's not the ones I'll go for. Yeah, he dies late. It's like no, he just worse than, slow worse worse than than It's like he's like a pro club keeper. He's got a couple how there's, there's one there's one shot hitting the near post, which yeah, is Jota, crazy. I was gonna say Jota. When that went in, I said, yo, it's just a PO keeper, bro. <laughs> anyway, quickly, United, are you back? <laughs> <laughs> back where? <laughs> Mid table. Bro. Is your goal difference positive though? I don't, we might still be the we're not in the top half of the table, bro. Are you still? still? I think we're still in yeah. We're still in We're still not in the top half of the table. Season, it, it, was, it was much better. We performed much better. But what does that mean? That means nothing to me. Did you yes. get Alicia, looks like you adopted some humility now. Couple game weeks ago, <laughs> you'd be saying, you'd you be saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Top four, yeah, yeah. We'll smoke Liverpool next week. <sighs> yeah, yeah. That was still. Hey, just link us again in a few months. <laughs> oh, 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 link, us, link us again in a few months. Ah, here we go. What I want to say is that. I feel like the finishes today were like cold, Garnacho and Hoyland's finish Hoyland's was like, finish was really like some proper strike finish. I enjoyed the second goal more than the first. A lot of people really? will say that they the enjoyed bad. the first one because it was it's crazy, <coughs> like a cross goal pass and then <coughs> side went into the corner. But in terms of the yeah, second goal, you didn't, watch. you didn't watch the game. In terms of the second goal, the reason I enjoyed it more is because we actually pressed, won the ball back high, bit of link up play, Bruno Fernandes around the corner and then Hoyland with a good finish. We just need our attackers to start scoring because we actually do create chances. First. Jaden, prediction for Arsenal Liverpool next week. I think we will. I don't see us. Where is we, it? we haven't lost a top six game for two seasons. Uh, Arsenal home it? or away? It's at, it's at Emirates. Almost two seasons. Huh? Are you home or away? We're home. Bro. Saka we're back sure. at Emirates. Saka you, you're, be you're, back. Say, you're saying that like it will be easy. Nah, Liverpool are going to win. Like I said, yeah. If we were to lose that game next week, I just see it similar to the game where we lost against Aston. I say four one Arsenal. Like we're gonna, we might four lose one. to a team that's that's top. Four one to Arsenal. Four one to Arsenal. You got a lot. Of, you got. <laughs> it depends on. Saliba's, Saliba's, Saliba's out, but I, I think I, I Timber see, should I see play that game back. being very like messy. I think Timber should play centre back. I think I think we win two one. I think we win three two. Who? Liverpool. Yes, yeah. See, look. Are you still gonna take us seriously as title challengers? I didn't. I didn't say that. I just mm. said link United. You get me? Link <laughs> us. I didn't say you get me. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Fair enough. Last thing. You think 2-1? Yeah, I think 2-1 to Liverpool, bro. So. Tuchel, new England manager. What are we saying? Should they, people are saying happy. he's not English. Why did we get him? I'm, I'm, extreme, could not care I'm extremely happy. Let's go and win something. I, you, I, you got an anti English agenda. I know. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I wish we had Tuchel for Jamaica, honestly. Like, bro, I, I'm happy. I'm me, happy. Me personally, I do believe that. I, an England manager should be English, mm-hmm. but I still feel like Tuchel will get over the line and win something for England. And we, it's been like what, over fifty years. Oh, so you know what I'm that was shocking, man. What's wrong with you? I was looking to the camera and saying there was no one condoning. There was no hesitation. You know, he's one of the oldest. Oh no, Jaden! Quickly, why do you think England managers? Um, <laughs> you know what, man? Forget it, man. Up, man. Forget it, man. Forget no, it, man. All right, Sorry, All right guys. There was zero hesitation. You thank know. you, thank you very much for the show this week. Uh, we'll be back next week, uh, as as always. Ah, oh, God. When you cut that, and they're just gonna see us laughing. They're gonna be asking why, like, why are we dying? Just cut out.